What's up guys, it's your Motivational Gamer bringing you guys another video. So in this series guys, we put every single summon uh, on the map. We cover you know, what the monsters are, uh, what their abilities are, and what's their purpose in combat to help increase your guys' efficiency and help you decide whether to enhance, improve, or remove this monster from your box. Now today we're going to be uh, featuring Trevor, um, the Fire Neo Stone Fighter. And this guy, man, this guy. That's all I gotta say about that. So his first skill is Combat Knife. He attacks the target enemy with daggers and increases your attack power for the next two turns. Uh, so he basically has a <laughs> attack and a t oh man, that's that's interesting. All right, so second skill, Relentless Strike, increases the critical rate for two turns and instantly attacks an, an enemy with a powerful strike. Reusable in three turns, very low cooldown. Uh, I'm pretty sure the damage scaling is probably pretty nice too on him. Uh, so that'll be definitely useful. Now, um, his leadership skill upon awakening is he increases the attack power, uh, gets the leadership skill, um, which increases the attack power of all allied monsters in the arena by 33%, which is always good. Um, his passive now, awesome, awesome passive, okay? His brawler's will. So as his HP decreases, his attack power will increase and the damage he receives uh, will decrease. So basically in a nutshell is as he takes damage he gets stronger on both sides and he takes less damage which is absolutely insane. Um, here's the thing, so in combination with his combat knife and a relentless strike uh, this guy has and has the ability to, t to deal insane damage specifically when paired with Uniset um, lower defense he already on his skill one he increases his attack power for two turns no matter what so every time he attacks he'll basically consistently always have uh, an attack buff no matter what so if you maximize his attack power combine that with relentless strike his passive is already there so no matter what happens he's going to eventually take less damage and deal more damage no matter the circumstance so he is in a prime position Trevor has a outstanding damage dealing skill set uh, with this guy honestly the only build I would recommend for him is violent period violent blade 100% crit rate 100% crit damage um, so our 100% crit rate, as much crit damage as possible, and of course get him speedy through substats because you don't want him lagging behind uh, because he is so effective as an attacker. Um, he is going to absolutely obliterate other fire and wind units no matter what. Um, so keep that in mind when you, when you guys are building him. Of course, you guys are more than welcome to build him rage. I really, really feel though that with a violent build, he will really be able to capitalize and reach his full potential, um, especially dealing as much damage as he can. Because, you know, on this guy, especially if he takes damage and he's really low life, let's say, you know, you get to one of those circumstances where he's at 20% life or 30% life, um, you know, and as his attack power is going through the roof because of his brawler's will, um, you want to be able to capitalize that on that as much as possible. So I feel like violent will be the best. Uh, build for him, you know, basically from the start if you guys can pull the runes, uh, but obviously, you know, transition from the Fatal Blade thing, uh, if you guys are unable to get decent violent runes in the beginning, if you guys are lucky to pull them, and go from there. Now, who is this guy best paired with? Um, you know, when you're looking at synergy, there's a lot of stuff that you guys, you know, can take into consideration. My primary recommendation that I recommend for most units is going to be any kind of speed increaser or attack bar increase. Um, you know, character. Again, he, he, he'll fare well with any other unit like Chloe, any other immunity, any shield type, um, but he'll pair the most well uh, with somebody that's going to reduce a defense, right? No matter what. A defense reduction, probably a tank, maybe a healer, um, maybe some kind of support tune uh, will pair well with this unit because he already has an attack buff anyway. Um, and he already increases his critical rate, so he doesn't really need <laughs> anything else. Uh, if you paired him with, like, let's say, like, uh, you know, a bounty hunter, like if you did, like, you know, Randy, or you did a, uh, you know, Wayne, or something like that, that could be useful. Konamiya could fare well with him. It really, this unit is kind of standalone. He can go well with almost anybody. Uh, so that's where he's going to shine there. Now, how do you beat this asshole? Let's say you run into him in the arena, super decked out. 
you know, what do you do to prevent him from whooping your ass? Um, you know, and the thing is, honestly, you just got to go max damage on this guy. There can't be anything else. There's no toying with him. There's no playing coy. It's really just when you see him, get rid of his ass. You have Sigmar, one shot this dude, get him out of the fight, and don't waste any time. Especially if he's a leader and the team is still clocking 180 plus speed, uh, you guys will have a problem. So your job is to get in there, uh, throw some inability, throw some freeze, throw some stun, and get rid of this dude ASAP. Um, obviously, any water, any fire, um, you know, crowd control, Beretta, anything like that is a very, very strong counter for this guy. Um, it's going to be hard to block his skills, so you're not really going to have to worry about skill reset or anything like that because, I mean, he's running, what, a three turn? So once he maxes skills, probably maybe two turn cooldown. So it's going to be kind of hard to block his skills. Again, the focus here is just going to be to get rid of him because you don't want to risk missing, you know, like not killing him, leaving him low life, and then he wipes out your whole team. So that's what you don't want to worry about, and that's how you counter that guy. So awesome, awesome unit. Um, really, really good skill skill kit in terms of you know dealing direct damage. Uh, he can be useful. I, I'd recommend like wind dungeons just because he can deal damage uh, specifically to like giants B8 or like dragons B6. He'll be useful there. Uh, you might not find him you know as useful obviously in game dungeons, but up to end game dungeons he'll be he'll be golden. So that's all I got to say for this guy, for Trevor, the uh, Neostone Fighter. Thank you guys again for tuning in, and we'll see you guys next video.